Hello Aries, welcome to Brutal True Tarot and this reading is for the second half of July. So let's check what are the messages for you and uh, what you can expect in this week. Messages for Aries. What you can expect in love. Excuse me. Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Temperance, Four of Cups, and Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Aries, we have the Six of Wands here. With the Six of Wands, this is about some kind of victory over something, and uh, looks like Aries, someone is feeling that finally you have uh, moved on or you have found someone else. This person is afraid that maybe you have found the one and um, now this person has taken their place. Now you might be seeing someone else and this could be your ex or this could be someone who feels that your and their relationship is not going to work or maybe there are so many obstacles and um, it's not going to make any sense if they try but this person just cannot um, get their mind off you they just cannot get their eyes off you this person might be watching you constantly because they want to see where you are going Aries what you are doing especially with the three of wands Aries seems like this person is feeling that whatever control they had over you is already gone this person is feeling that you are stronger you are wiser than before in fact, Three of Wands is about some kind of journey. This person feels that you are on a new journey and you have started it all alone. You are not afraid of anything. Also, this person is afraid that maybe the journey is going to make you forget them. I mean, this person is afraid that whatever you are doing right now is actually kind of um, um, healing or something. This person feels that something is changing really fast with this card of temperance this person feels that nothing is in their control everything is changing quite fast and um, they cannot help it Aries this person had no idea that you can actually do this this person never thought Aries that you will uh, make your way out of this um, darkness and uh, you won't obsess over them because with this four of chalices this person had this idea Aries maybe they can keep you obsessing over them by not giving you something so this could be someone who was intentionally denying some denying something just because they felt that it's going to work you will stick to them for it or you will be asking for it again and again now it could be anything it could be a commitment it could be attention it could be love it could be something um, that you wanted more but this person was not giving they felt that this was going to keep you there for a long time they forgot Aries that you are not someone who will be there for a very long time or who will be wandering in the dark for a very long time this person felt that uh, maybe depriving you of something is going to work in this case it will make you obsess over them and um, you will stay there endlessly but here this person feels that their mind game has gone wrong horribly and in fact with this eight of pentacles aries this person is also feeling that you have uh, achieved something okay i mean this person is also watching you and uh, they're also noticing each and every detail here and uh, this person feels Aries that you are focused on something else you are focused on a bigger picture and this person is also feeling that they are no more your priority you are changing and um, this transformation is scary this person also feels Aries that uh, life is um, really <laughs> complicated at this point because they don't know what to say and what not to this person just cannot tell you to stop they just can't tell you to um, not choose anyone they just can't stop you from moving on they know it and um, 
They don't know what to do next. It was their fault. It was their idea. This whole game was theirs and now you are winning and they don't understand how to deal with this, how to cope up with this kind of setback. They don't know from where to be back. I mean, this person is looking for a way to be back in your life, but they don't know how to do it. And um, is it even possible? This person is constantly thinking about that. However, this is a general reading. This might not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more masters for you, Aries. The lovers, knight of wands, the magician, five of swords, and seven of pentacles. Okay, Aries. So this person now wants to take you in their arms. This person now wants to be in love. They want to love you as much as possible. The bad thing is that uh, maybe this is happening too late at least that is what this person feels like this person feels like Aries that you have chosen your peace you have chosen your self-worth you have chosen your self-love over them and now you might not be ready for this this person is now getting it that they couldn't love you enough when you both were together or when things were better and now things are complicated you people are not on the same page and um, there could be a lot of uh, questions and obstacles between you two. So this person is um, learning their lesson Aries. This person is uh, realizing that they couldn't uh, take the right step at the right time. They should have loved you. They're now getting this idea. We have this Knight of Wands here. So you might be dealing with someone who is really, really flirtatious. And um, this person was flirting around. And um, now they don't like it when you are doing the same. Okay, you might not be flirting around Aries, but whatever you are doing, making friends or giving some time to yourself, even if others are giving you compliments, even if others are giving you attention, this person is really um, getting irritated by that. This person is watching you constantly and they feel that something is not right and, um, you know something needs to change but they have forgotten that uh, you have been there you have been like this for a very long time we have this card of magician and five of swords so aries now this person is feeling what they can do to cast a spell on you i'm not saying that this person is literally going to cast a spell on you or going to do some kind of magic but here the magician is certainly thinking what they can say or what they can do to win your heart and uh, with this five of swords Aries this person has this confidence that if they call you if they um, say something or if they express their interest in you you are going to turn back no matter what road you have chosen even if you are walking away or moving on this person feels that they need to say a word or two with love and things will change Aries. This person knows that you have got this uh, heart that melts easily, you forgive easily. And this person feels that this is going to work here. So Aries, this person might interrupt you, okay? You might be on this journey to uh, your future, to, to your self-worth, to the love you deserve. And um, you might be looking for something new or someone new, but then they would um, call you and uh, looks like this will make you feel a little relieved because with the seven of pentacles I see that you guys are waiting you people might be waiting for this kind of response you people might be waiting to listen something from this person and um, that is going to happen in this week and you will be finally like okay so now everything is fine this person might have left you wondering, are they interested in you? You will know that this person is actually craving for you. They actually want you back. And then it will be up to you if you want them or not. But obviously, universe will reveal a lot to you. And you will know how much this person wants you. Okay? 
Let's check an oracle message for you, Aries. Heart healing. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let the light embrace the healing heart. So this card goes well with this reading. You had a lot of um, darkness recently. You have been through a lot. And uh, now do not pay any attention to those things that were actually making you vulnerable or were making you feel like, um, you know, things are never going to be good again. It's time to emerge from the darkness and a new day starts Aries, so a new journey is about to start. Let light embrace the healing heart. So let the positivity um, be there for you. Welcome those positive things and uh, those beautiful ideas. And uh, since your heart is healing, those things are actually going to help you a lot in this journey. Okay, so let this positivity enter your life. So this was a reading. For the second half of July. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.